okay guys thanks for tuning in so to begin you're going to crochet the very front of the head and we did the cane rows very small very close together so that there'll be no gaps when you put in the hair to the secret to creating a natural hairline is to make sure that there's no gaps in between and that the hair is all very very close together and kind of almost touches the root of the head as you'll also probably be able to notice usually I crochet the hair from the side but I'm putting in a needle directly at the front if that makes sense so I'm putting it directly at the front so that where she was to pull her hair back it will look as if the hair is going from her root as opposed to being able to see the knots You're also going to do the same knotless technique on the braid that conjoined all the sm smaller braids at the front, um, just so that the hair doesn't look dappy again. Also please be cautious as you're doing this to not put too much hair on one piece so that there's not, not too much tension on the head because then this can lead to breakage on the edges which you don't want. I only put about two pieces of hair on each braid so yeah just be cautious of how much hair you're putting on each braid. Okay, by this point you may be thinking yuck it looks like a barbie head when you put it up but don't worry we'll sort it out so that it looks natural when you put it up and not look like it's come from a dolly head 
Okay, so now that we've done the perimeter, what you'll notice is that the hair is already really full because obviously when you leave no gaps, this means that the hair um, fills up really, really quickly and has a lot of volume. So what you could do in the middle is just leave more gaps or bigger gaps than you usually would if you feel like the hair is already way too full for you. But this is optional. <laughs> Okay, let's sort out that Barbie head. So I'm going to create some faux baby hairs. This is optional, but I personally think it makes the hairline look more natural because most of us do have baby hairs, whether they're small or different texture. So yeah, this will just make it look more realistic. So what I do is I pull out small wisps of hair from the very front, as you can see, and then I'm just gonna cut them to quite a short length and then I separate the curls as well just to make it look more wispy and natural because that's the look you want to go for and I do this for the whole perimeter of the head so the front and the sides and the back so that when she ties it up it just looks more realistic <laughs> 